Hi, this is Dina with Digital Hotcakes, and I am in Pro Show Producer 5. And I'm going to show you how to make a cool wedding intro using one of our new products called Sparticles. Let's take a look. Okay, what you're going to need to create this effect obviously is your wedding photo. Um, the from our from our new product Sparticles, you're going to need the clip that's called Glamour Hearts. Now I'm using the AVI. You can use the AVI or the MOV. Both will work in your um, Pro Show Producer program. And of course, you're going to need your caption. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this slide so we can rebuild it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is drop in my photo of the bride and groom. I'm going to set my slide time to eight seconds. Double click on the slide to open our slide options. And the next thing I want to do is add that Glamour Hearts clip. You can do that two ways. You can use your, your add button here under layers, add image or video. Or if you have your window open like I do here, you can just grab it and drop it in. Okay, and it's important that that Glamour Hearts clip is in layer two and your photos in layer one. Now there's something else you need to do to the Glamour Hearts um, clip. You need to tell ProShow that it's a 16 by nine animation. So go ahead and, and click on that layer. Then under your layer settings, down here under aspect, you see it set to auto. This needs to be changed to 16 by nine. And if you don't do that, your hearts are not going to be the right shape. They're gonna look a little odd. Okay, after we do that, let's go ahead and click back on our photo layer because we're going to put, a put this photo in a vignette. So go under your Adjustments tab up here, click on Vignette, and we're going to make this uh, an ellipse-shaped vignette. And then you can play around with the size of your, your vignette, vignette as needed depending on, on your photo. Okay, and click OK. Okay, next we're going to adjust the size and the position of this photo. So go back under Layer Settings and use your mouse scroll to change the, we're going to, oh, actually I need to, okay, we need to change the size of the, of the photo. And we're going to move it over to the left. Okay, you make all these adjustments according to your photo, obviously. Okay, and after we do that, we're going to change the, the color of our sparticles here to match the background in our photo. So go ahead and select your, the Glamour Hearts layer, layer 2. Go under the Adjustments tab. And then down here under Editing Tools, click on the Colorize box. As you can see, that took all the color out of the animation. So what we want to do is click on the Set button, grab our little eyedropper here, and drop it in the background color of the photo. Click Set Color. Okay, and the last thing that we need to do is add our caption. So let's go under the Caption Add button, and we'll type in our caption. Okay, and of course you can make your caption look however you want. Um, and once you've typed it in there, you need to position it. I'm going to put it right about there. Okay, and I'm also going to um, apply a fly in, fly in to this caption. So it, let's go under the Effects tab. I'll click on Fly In here, and I'm going to use a Fade Right. Click Apply. And I'm also going to change the timing of when the title comes in. I'm going to move, I'm going to move this keyframe to two seconds. Just drag it and drop it over. Or if you can also set the, the keyframe by right clicking and, and clicking on the set time for keyframe. And then you can just type in two seconds. Now for the fly out, I set the fly out to just a fade out. And that's it. Let's let's take a look. And you can do that with any of our Sparticles animations. You can change their color to complement your photo. It's kind of a cool effect. Thanks for watching.